Hey, Patrick here. I wanted to do a video on starts, uh, specifically three-point starts. It's something that's not only something you need to be tested at a combine, but you should work on it. It's great for getting a forward lean, which you can't just, you know, tell a kid, hey, run with a forward lean, especially in the drive phase when you're trying to accelerate. You have to work on it. You need the power and the flexibility at that, at that low angle and it doesn't just come automatically. So starts is a great thing to work on, specifically three point starts, but it is highly technical. So the best people out there that work on this stuff are the NFL, you know, combine trainers who I used to work with a long time ago. And I keep doing starts because I got such great results from it, not just in the, the technical aspects of improving the 40 yard dash, but because they were getting so powerful and their forward lean uh, was developing in the regular sprints. You really need that shin angle going, you know, more horizontal into the ground. And that just doesn't happen, you know, by saying, hey, you know, lean forward. So the main thing I'll show you on the setup is where you set up your feet. And then when I'm doing large groups of kids uh, or any athlete, you know, I can run five or 10 out of them at a time and have their setup run perfectly, even for, you know, novices at this, at this deal. So hold on one second. So typically for the best start position, usually the most powerful leg to start with is gonna be their left leg. So that means their right hand is gonna be 12 inches in front of that left foot. So you're gonna, this is the line, and then this is the other line basically where their foot can't go past about 12 inches behind that. It's not like they're being tested right now. I'm just doing this as an exercise for them to get a better forward lean and get more power at a lower angle and get that shin down into the ground more horizontally. So the hands up here, the left foot's about 12 inches back if the left leg is their most powerful. Right hand here, and you want that right knee either level with the ball of their feet or all the way up to the toe. That's gonna change per athlete. So for me, it's right at the ball of the foot, that's level. And then what you wanna do is have that left hand, you wanna have that left hand forward as a resting point. So you wanna have them rest out here on their left hand. And this right foot has some ground under it. So you don't want the right foot like this, you want some ground under it uh, before you start. So you're not gonna put a lot of pressure on the right foot, if any, but you will make sure there's solid contact. Okay, so the feet are about hip width apart going, you know, forward. So you're resting with your left hand. You want your head way down, like almost over relaxed. And so that head, those eyes, for some kids, you got to tell them to look back at this front toe because you really have to overemphasize with some kids to get their body down. It just won't come down. A lot of them want to pop up really quickly or even their their head and their neck pops up. So to get them to over relax that neck, have them look back here, or a lot of kids, you can just have them look straight down and they're gonna continue to look straight down for probably 10 meters, ideally. But again, that's per kid. Everybody's neck is different. Everybody's back strength and flexibility is different. And every athlete accelerates at a different speed. So, but typically look straight down. So right here from this resting position, that's, that's the setup. And then after that, I'm gonna say hips up, hand up go so that's what I mean when I say I can have 10 kids get set up because if they know the foot position and resting with that left hand out here then all I got to do is say hips up hand up go and when they bring the hips up this legs at 90 degrees the other legs at 120 degrees and the hand comes to just above the hip not way up here but just above the hip so it's get go ahead and get set up hips up hand up go and they all do it just like clockwork it's so easy that's how you can get a group of five or ten athletes to do a highly technical start like this so i'm going to show you how to do it the other thing about starts is you want the whenever you work on these the first two or three or four strides even should be really long you know you don't want to start a high frequency type of run in the first two or three so really long body motion the arm the elbow actually comes up like that like you're punching up high with your elbow like you're pouring a pitcher so it's like a boom 
and then boom and then the arms the arms in general in the drive phase are going to be like this and they're not going to continue to be like that as you come up right they're more like this right but in the start it's like this for almost 10 steps so let's show you one so this is the first position and then you go hips up hand up go And that's it. Complicated, but simple.